static friction is one of those things where I'm just like, man, oh man. <laughs> Man, oh man, is the correct phrase for every problem in this FE exam. Let me tell you what. But we're looking at an angle of alpha, which is 37 degrees. Let's find the coefficient of static friction. How the hell are you supposed to have that? You're not even given a weight force. You're not even given a static force. You're not even given the normal force. Well, technically you are given the normal force, but we'll, we'll assume that you don't know how to do that. <laughs> anyway, um, we'll, we'll just do a free body diagram. Last resort, whenever you don't know what to do, draw a free body diagram. Let me tell you, that works perfectly for uh, computer science. When you're programming something, draw a free body diagram of your script. God, oh man, this is a... Uh, this is a horrible video. Okay, let's uh, draw a free body diagram, like we said. And we're going to call the positive orient or positive x direction it going along the incline of the ramp, and then the positive y direction normal to the ramp itself. So, what that all means is that this bad boy right here is going to be the weight force. It's always normal to uh, the actual reference ground, which is the bottom of the ramp. Um, so the weight force goes that way, obviously, and then we have the normal force, which is always, always perpendicular to the surface of contact, which is perpendicular in, uh, perpendicular to the ramp in this case. And then since we're uh, technically rotating the ramp to see when the box starts moving, uh, that must mean there's some static friction in play preventing the box to move. So if the box were to move, it wouldn't be moving up the ramp. If it were, that's some crazy talk. Uh, it's actually going to be trying to move down the ramp, but we're going to try to prevent it with friction, or at least that's what the ramp is trying to do. So we're going to call that FS. It's going along the ramp in the opposite direction of potential movement, if that if that were to make sense. Um, but yeah, let's just... Uh, oh, and we also know this angle is alpha, and then... Some fancy geometry will tell you that this angle relative to the normal of the ramp between the weight force is alpha hopefully i said that correctly um so let's start off with our some of the forces in the x direction call that direction positive um so fs is going to be positive in this case interesting and we're going to minus the weight force uh that's going to be minus sine of alpha and that's going to be equal to zero again we're still in the static case meaning everything equals zero this is right before this becomes a dynamics problem um, you, you don't want to hear that word in this exam. Um, but we're going to do the same thing for the y-axis. We're going to call that direction positive, that angled normal direction. Um, is going to be positive, so the normal force is going to be positive, and then the weight force is going to be negative, so that's going to be W cosine alpha, and that's going to equal zero. Now, really, the main question is in this question, like, do you know the definition of static friction? Do you know how to use it in a sentence? Do you know the word of origin? classic question so fs the static friction is defined by a coefficient called the coefficient of static friction i don't know i don't know if you knew that uh, we usually denote it as mu s mu s stands for uh static friction coefficient and then it's multiplied by the normal force of the body so the normal force is the only dependence for the static friction so if you know that definition, you can look this up. It's probably in your reference guide, but you should probably have this memorized. I mean, it's just, it's just something you just know um, as an engineer. Um, so since we know that, we could, uh, we could solve for n using the oh, vertical direction equation. So we know that n is w cosine theta. So we could say the static friction is w cosine theta times the static frictional force or whatever. Um, that's FS. That's the static friction force. And then we can plug that back in in the horizontal or horizontal relative to the ramp equation. Uh, where you say that mu S W cosine alpha minus W sine alpha equals zero. What's fancy about this is that we could add this on both sides of the W sine theta and we get something that's kind of surprising. Not really. It's not that surprising. Um, the static, uh, the reason why I know it's not surprising is because the static friction is not dependent on any physical parameter. It's dependent on something about the system, not necessarily about the object itself. Um, so that's why we could see here the weight is eliminated from the equation. So although you weren't given much in this equation besides the angle, it's because you really don't need that much for this equation or for this problem. So we can find uh, us uh, by dividing by cosine, and you get the, the fancy 
conversion of tangent because sine over cosine gives you tangent and then you keep the angle so alpha so in this case uh, the coefficient of static friction is just tangent of the angle whoop de doo actually not that crazy and make sure you're in degree mode or whatever in your calculator plug that bad boy in and you get the mu static friction is almost almost 100 percent uh to the normal force but it's not it's a uh, 0.75 Four. That means it's going to be 75% of the normal force for this given ramp. Pretty straightforward enough. This is basic statics and some algebra.